This is what's called just getting it done real quick so that you're safer than not. My daughter has a 2005 Mercury Montego. I just recently paid attention to the way her rear brakes sound and we've been talking about getting them replaced and they're scraping pretty bad. And yesterday it was the worst that I've heard it. So it's time to throw a set of pads at it. There it is right there. So I'm throwing a uh, set of wherever silver's at that car. There's the part number right there. Let's just uh, get this done real quick. Just take it for what it's worth. Here it is. This is what we're looking at. 2005 Mercury Montego all wheel drive. And you can see it's, it's just got the orange coating on the wheel. We need to get that squared away. I can't pull it in the garage because my plow is in there right now and Big Black's right there. So let's uh, just move the car into the driveway and off the gravel. Don't jack up a car in gravel. You hear that? Hope we can hear that. So that's, that's pretty bad. So anyway, let's get the jack. jack stand and the jack keep it in place For some strange reason the jack fails which i'm fairly confident that it's not that um you've got that secondary there so it really should be jack stand is first and the jack itself is second this is literally just throwing a set of brake pads at a vehicle so that you can be safe in a temporary situation because that's exactly what this is. This is a temporary solution just to go ahead and and it's basically because of time constraint. She's got to leave and I don't want her panicked. It's not like it's going to take this an hour, but um, just I want to order when I need to order and, and get things done right. Throw some gloves on. It just helps the cleanup process. Would have been nice to pull the car into the garage, but it's fine. It's not like it's below zero. Flashlight out, and you can see there's like nothing left to that. So let's get this bolt off right here. This is the upper caliper bolt, and that bolt down there, lower caliper bolt. We'll get those off first. We're not taking the rotor off. We're just going to take the um, the caliper itself off. Just the caliper, not not even this. I might check the slides though while I'm there, so we'll see. So caliper bolts, 2005 Mercury Montego. It's a uh, 13 millimeter um, wrench or a 13 millimeter bolt. So Let's loosen it up and leave it in place. So, 
what we're gonna do is um we are actually gonna be replacing the the calipers, the actual rear calipers on this car. So look at that. I feel like saying bad dad. <laughs> There actually was a little bit of pad left. All right. So just because I kind of have to, um, I'm gonna take this. It's funny, I'm trying to stay out of the way of the camera, but do what I need to do here, it's difficult. You know what I'm So, I'm gonna put this clip back in place. Clip is in good condition. So, on a vehicle like this, whenever you see, like, it looks like something's going to focus, it's gonna, it's like, something needs to, like, lock into that um, piston, you're right, because what you need is you do need to go ahead and grab yourself. A set like this, something that's actually going to have these little nubs on it so that when you turn when you turn one of these either left or right in, this type of piston or this type of caliper, this actually is the turn style where you can't just go ahead and take one of these things and compress it or use my clamp like I showed you in a video before. So this is the style that you have to turn. It'll kind of be hard to see, but if you look at it, there's actually an arrow focus right there which shows you which direction that you need to turn the piston to get it to go in if you turn it the other way it's not going to work so you got to either turn it clockwise or counterclockwise i just took a wire brush focus come on focus why don't you focus all right you can see the arrow right there so somewhere on the caliper, there's going to be an indication of which way to turn that. What I did is I just took a wire brush and just cleaned it off real quick. So right now what I'm doing is I'm just searching for the right disc that will work for this vehicle. So it looks like this one right here is the one that's going to fit. So then you go ahead and I'm grabbing the uh, right hand because it's right hand, right hand uh, thread. And then you slip this little backer plate in place, put it on like that, and you take your little adapter and you stick the adapter right on there. Maybe like, maybe like that. So, <laughs> see what I'm saying? Like, I can't do it with the camera. So you see, as I turn this handle, it's turning and compressing the piston at the same time. And that's how this kind of tool works is as you rotate it, and this one I'm turning clockwise because that's the way that the piston said to go on the outside. I'm gonna take a little brush, just kinda clean stuff up as I'm going here. But you can see how it's compressing that piston and boot back into its spot. Uh, I think you get the idea though. Basically just turning this in turns the piston in. The other thing that, you know, before you start any of this was checking the uh, brake fluid level and that was already done. So I know that's all set. You want to make sure that in your reservoir that you have enough space as you're turning or compressing this piston in. You want to make sure that there's enough space for the, um, for the piston to compress. Um, enough for the fluid to, you know, kind of go back into the, in through the system. So... That's it. I'm going to just keep wrangling with this thing. So I just smashed my Note 8 even more. Just because I'm trying to get this on camera. Awesome. Now you can see that it's basically 
The piston is now completely focus. The com the piston is now completely flattened into the um, the actual caliper uh, housing itself. So now let's just take this tool off. So then you want to just basically get a some type of a wrench or whatever, and you want to loosen up this so you can actually get this piece out. And then, as you can see, clean it all up. So what I went ahead and did is um, I have to take the caliper bracket off. Initially, I didn't think I was going to have to, but this bolt right here needs to come off. That bolt right there needs to come off. It's a 15 millimeter. You can see it right there. And the reason for that is because where the brakes actually ride in this channel right here, there was rust buildup, which does happen. So I'm going to take this off. I'm going to file these down, and then uh, the brake pads will fit a lot better, and they won't be so you know, hindered from movement. Now that I've got the bracket off, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now these little brake pad clips right here, what happens is over time, rust builds up underneath and it doesn't allow the pad to go ahead and move. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a file and we're gonna pop these little clips out. I'm just gonna take wire brush, clean it up real quick. Again, working on a kind of a time constraint here and you can see like there's like an edge there's an edge right there that needs to be taken down so I just take any kind of a file or whatever and you want to basically just file this area so that it's nice and smooth get rid of any of the garbage that's in there that's nice And I'm filing, filing both edges at the same time. That way it keeps it nice and flat across the surface. Go ahead on the other side, pull your clips out. Put some light on the situation. So go ahead and take your wire brush. Get in there and kind of clean that up real quick. And then take a file or whatever you got. File, screwdriver, whatever. And just kind of just file this area so that... It's nice and clean. And we'll be revisiting this for real um, once we get the real pots in. This is just literally throwing a set of pads at the car so that she's good to go and safe. And I'm just going to take a screwdriver and just see if I can feel if it's smooth. Feels pretty good. lot better a lot better than the way it was now at least it's smooth take your little brackets clean up the bottoms now see in this kit doesn't come any with any hardware so those are just the pads but it's the cheapest kit out there and it'll get it done and that's what we needed we just needed her to be safe. Very temporary solution. Parts are going to be on order as soon as basically she walks out the door. Reinstall your clips. You don't, at, at this point in time, you don't have to use like any kind of like a, a lube stuff. But uh, I'm actually going to because I'm going to clean all this stuff up after the fact. So I'm going to place a little bit there, a little bit there, same thing on the other side, right there, right there. Just keep it, keep it, what did I say, buttery? So just like that. And take your clips, install your clips. Make sure it's 
settled in place. Now, we're going to throw some stuff on the slides, too. Clean them off the best you can. Stick that back in the hole. Just like that. It's a lot better. Clean up any excess that you got. That's nice. Go ahead and do this side too. Let's see. Let's pull that out. Clean it off. Can be semi liberal with this stuff. Slide it right back into place. Boom. Much better. Nice and buttery. Again, wipe off any excess that may be floating around. Reinstall the caliper bracket. Do not move up these bolts, by the way. If you feel this stiff, they're stiff for a reason because they have residual thread lock on them. And you don't want to, um, you actually don't want these to be slick. They do want to have a little bit of resistance on them. That way they uh, have less of a chance of backing out. I mean, and this stuff, it, it is easy. Don't, don't think it's difficult. But, I mean, there is a reason why uh, sometimes you do have a mechanic do stuff. Because you either just don't have the time, or you don't want to be bothered, or you don't have the tools. But um, these videos are basically just here to help somebody if they want to do it themselves. Um, just showing you that, you know, something like this it can be done. It is safe. Um, but use your own judgment on what you want to do. I'm just getting this done. Real quick. So that she... I feel better about our being safe. Now again, be careful. Don't touch that surface. Reinstall your brake pads. I like to do them at an angle. This particular vehicle, you got to kind of angle it in that way. So see how I'm kind of like angling it in towards this section right here? That way the brake pad will actually go in. Goes up against these little spring mounts right there. Focus. See? Nice. Went in really nice. Again, be careful. Same thing on this back side here. I'm going to angle it in. Nice. See? That's how it should look. Not how the rotor should look, but that's how the pad should look. So I'm basically just setting the new brake pads into place. Um, you're going to make sure that when you do ever compress a piston in a brake system, whether you're doing one corner or all four corners or whatever, you just want to make sure that before you take off, you depress the brake pedal a couple of times. Uh, I do it before it's running. And that way it's pushing the piston back out. And then um, once you start the vehicle, give it another press, make sure you feel a good pedal. It's just a uh, quick little... You know, something or nothing video from What's Up Guy Garage. Uh, I hope it helps. You don't have to worry about 
throwing a set of pads at a vehicle. You just got to make sure that things are relatively safe because, you know, it's people's lives are in your hands. Get away for And I think this car is also going to be, from what I'm feeling at the front end, is um, sway bar end links, I guess. So I can, I can hear something rattling in the front end.